Hi, in this video lecture, let's discuss about the analysis of sequential circuit with T flip flops. As usual, in the analysis procedure, we are given the block diagram and we are supposed to find the output equation as well as the state equations. And we have to compute the transition tables and implement in the transition diagram as well. And draw the transition diagram as well. So let's try and compute what is the input to T flip-flop. As there are two T flip-flops, we will represent this with A and this with B. So we have to compute what is the input equation for TA and what is the input equation for TB and then A of T plus 1 will be the characteristic equation of the T flip flop which is nothing but the T input XR with the state which is A here. Similarly B of T plus 1 will be uh, the so it is T A here here we have TB XR with B. Okay, so what is TA? We have X here. This line is from B. So this input is B. So we have BX here for TA. And TB will be we have X directly. So this is X. Okay, and you can see that there is a clock and clock we know okay and reset this is like asynchronous reset okay when we start the circuit we may not know what was stored in these flip-flops okay so we can use this button and press it and reset the circuit to store zero that is this reset input asynchronous reset input and now using this uh, input equations we can construct the transition table. So we have the present state AB and input X. We have to compute the next state. Okay and this next state we cannot directly compute it. We have to use the flip flop input equations to get the output of this one. Okay so TA is uh, BX. And TB is uh, X, right? Simply X. Okay. So, let's uh, use this TB so that uh, it is easy for us. When the input is 0, okay, we just retain the uh, state. So, B previous state is 0. So, the next state will also be 0. When the input is 1, this is a this is going to complement the state information. So, the previous state is 0. So, the next state will be 1. Similarly, if it is 0, it is going to retain. So, 1 will be retained here and so on. Okay. For B, if TA, we have to compute BX. Okay. So, BX is 0. So, the input is 0. So, it is going to retain this information. So, 0 will be retained. So, this is also 0, so this 0 will be retained. This input is also 0, so this is retained. And this input is 1. So this is going to complement this state. So it, it changes from 0 to 1 here. Okay, But it is better that we can write a column here after the actual transition table. So write the flip flop input what is TA and what is TB and using that input we can decide what to do with the present state okay whether we have to maintain the present state or we have to complement the present state okay and this one 
is the state diagram or the transition diagram. So from 0, 0, if we get a 0 as input, we go to 0, 0. So we go to 0, 0. When, when we are in 0, 0, when we get 0 as input, we go back to 0, 0. And the output is 0. The output is written here. I will say why it is written here instead of uh, having a slash and writing it here. And similarly when we have 0, 0 and the input is 1, we are going to 0, 1 and the output is 0. So 0, 0 when the input is 1, we are going to 0, 1 and the output is 0. Okay, And uh, we can draw the rest of the states and edges like this. Okay. And if you can see this uh, diagram, okay, the output, what is, uh, we didn't compute the value for y, right, the equation for y. y is equal to ab, right. The output y does not depend on the external input x. It only depends on the state, right. So that is why we have written the output along with the state because it has nothing to do with the input okay so for state 0 0 the output is going to be 0 with 0 1 it is going to be 0 and 1 0 it is going to be 0 and again 1 1 it is going to be 1 okay so the output does not depend on the input x okay that is why we are writing inside the state itself